Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on. PM Modi's visit to US a milestone in ties, says India's Foreign Secretary. Pakistan mourns hundreds lost in Greece migrant boat disaster. And heavy rain slash East Nepal at least five killed. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Mohan Quatra detailing the schedule of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's much-awaited visit to the US said the imminent visit is a milestone in the bilateral ties. Quatra informed the PM's trip will start on June 21 with a grand celebration of International Yoga Day at the UN General Assembly followed by an address to the US Congress and state dinner on June 22. There will also be multiple meetings with President Joe Biden. The first is a, a milestone in our relationship between the two countries. You heard Honorable External Affairs Minister say yesterday, it's a very significant visit, very important visit, a visit on which there is a genuine and widespread deep interest in the United States. Meanwhile, the Indian-American diaspora also held a unity march in Washington on Sunday to extend a warm welcome to PM Modi. The Biden administration is working to deepen ties with India as a key counterweight to China's dominance in the region. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh held bilateral talks with Vietnamese counterpart General Phan Van Giang in capital New Delhi on Monday. Both sides exchanged views on issues of mutual interest and on ways to boost defence cooperation. Early in the day, Jiang also inspected the Tri-Service Guard of Honour and paid homage at the National War Memorial. New Delhi's regular engagement with Vietnam is part of the Indian Government Act East policy. The relation also holds importance as Hanoi has been a vocal critic of China and its assertion in the South China Sea. Pakistan on Monday observed nationwide mourning after hundreds of Pakistani nationals who were seeking a better life abroad lost their lives in a boat capsized tragedy off the coast of Greece. As families struggle to cope with the loss of their loved ones in the Greece migrant boat shipwreck, Pakistan on Monday observed a day of mourning for hundreds of its nationals that were on the ill-fated trawler. Pakistan's PM Shehbaz Sharif has announced a high-level probe to trace human traffickers behind the incident. The trawler was carrying about 750 migrants from Libya to Europe, out of which around 400 were Pakistani nationals. Authorities confirmed there were 104 survivors, in which 12 were Pakistanis. Relatives of 25-year-old Sharyar Sultan, who was in a boat, said they had lost hopes of his survival. A local travel agent had charged 22 lakh Pakistani rupees for the trip with the promise he would earn well in Europe. <laughs> Meanwhile, an activist said there were around 135 victims from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir who had hoped for a better future, escaping poverty and underdevelopment in their region under Pakistan's misrule. Pakistani occupied Jammu, Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan are treated as a colony. Therefore, there are no factories, there is no industry. There are no jobs, there are no opportunities, there are no skill enhancing projects, campaigns. Therefore, the young generation of Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir have no future 
in their own motherland. Every year ahead of Eid al-Adha, the Islamic festival of sacrifice, a small collection of cows and oxen are lowered by crane from a rooftop in the Nazimabad neighborhood in Pakistan's Karachi. Scores of people gathered on Sunday to witness the spectacle amidst cheers. But unlike previous years, the soaring inflation has taken a toll on the festival. Earlier, the ox would weigh more than 500 kilograms, but this year, smaller cattle weighing 250 to 400 kilograms were lowered from a rooftop barn. Mangai ki wajah ye hai, chara bhot mangai ho gaya hai, chara bhot mangai ho gaya hai. Usme har chiz, jis time mana ek time pichle saal ham chowker ki bori 1000 rupee ki liye the, 1100 ki, this time 3800 rupee ki, 3200 rupee ki hai bori, aur har chiz mangai ho gayi hai. Marking the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son on God's command, Muslims around the world celebrate the Eid holiday by slaughtering animals such as cattle and goats. The meat is shared among family and friends and donated to the poor. The three-day festival will be celebrated from June 29 in Pakistan this year. A top official of Human Rights Watch, Heather Barr, has said that the Doha Agreement, which was signed between the US and the Taliban, is less transparent and also excluded Afghan women from political engagement to a greater extent. Barr, in a report, accused Zalme Khalilzad, the former US Special Envoy, of undermining women's rights in the Doha Agreement. The report states the agreement paved the way for the Taliban's return to power, which was eventually caused the systematic violation of women's rights after 2021. Meanwhile, the World Bank in its report has placed Afghanistan among 11 economies with the lowest women business and the law scores. It highlights Taliban administration has issued guidelines and decrees that have limited women's freedom of movement and ability to get a job. At least five people were killed and 28 others were missing in flood and landslide disaster triggered by heavy rainfall in eastern Nepal this past weekend. The Nepal government has ordered relief operations in the region and search and rescue operations were underway till the last reports came in. Authorities have projected with monsoon expansion across the Nepal, deaths due to weather-triggered calamities is likely to rise in the coming days. Nepal's disaster relief agency has estimated around 1.4 million are likely to get affected and has approved an action plan to control the impact. Following the meeting of Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and South African President Mata Mila Cyril, Bangladesh has now formally applied for joining the diplomatic bloc BRICS. The Dhaka Tribune has reported Bangladesh has forwarded formal letter of interest to the BRICS current chair South Africa in this regard. Currently, BRICS consists of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa and is considering expanding its membership amid growing interest from other countries. Bangladesh is currently recognized as friend of BRICS and is also a member in the new development bank founded by the BRICS nations. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.